Crystal Foray's service through Kim Spalding provided to all those international conglomerate relate to the CCP kleptocrats' company are all legitimate on the surface. Even uh, uh, J, uh, James Comey tapped by uh, uh, Ray Daly, uh, hired him, Ray Dalio hired him as the general counsel for Bridgewater in 2010 is completely legal. Right. It's it's employment. So Reed Daly said, hey, come work for me. You know, I have a lot of business I do with Chinese CCP. You you be the general counsel. You defend Bridgewater. So James Comey, prior to become the FBI director, he worked for Reed Daly for Reed Dalio for three years as a general counsel at the Bridgewater who handle a lot of CCP money. OK, so you see the connection here. So all of them is legit. But until you're turning to the right side of things, and that's where the things fall off, because anything to do with the CCP is illegal. They're trying to cut using the legal cover the illegal. OK, you talk about mm -hmm. money launder. You talk about stealing, lying, forged documents, you name it. OK, so this is where we warn the people like 15 days before Miles Gore was arrested, he said. The American people needs to find the black money link between the CCP and your FBI, your DOJ, your core system, and your international law firms. If you do not do that, nobody, no one is safe. Not Donald Trump, not um, uh, Peter Navarro, not Stephen King Bannon, not George Santos, not whoever, J6, not, you know, uh, even Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake's lawsuits was got dismissed, right? Just a couple of days yep. ago. The the America, yeah. So your just system, your justice system is no longer uh, hold up, uphold the justice. So that is why you need to find the black money link. And how do you do that? Focusing on Miles Gore's case because all of them, every single cronies that you see here, come after Miles Gore for six years. OK, so they all coming after because this guy, P.A.G. guy sued Miles Gore in 2017 